Welcome back everyone to the third video in our series here, how to run your own CSGO server, or serve, whatever. This is the third video in our series where I'm going to show you how to administer the back end of your server. So right now as you see on the screen we're logged into our GS panel. This is our control panel for the actual servers on the back end. Right now you can see that I have access to our normal tier 1 CSGO server. It's currently running Surfacecape Final. And we also have a test server, which I'm going to be testing something on today. So, we have a few maps to test today, and that is what I'm going to show you as well. So let's jump right into it. I'll bring up our FTP here, and I'm using FileZilla. It's a lot cleaner and a lot easier to use. So, right now, we have gone to where our maps are at that we downloaded from. We're going to test Surf Glamour and Surf Gloom today. So once you already have these unzipped, which I do in these folders, we just want to pop into each folder. And we have a BSP, which is the map, and we have the nav, which is the nav file that the server uses. Now, there's a lot of folders in your uh, server FTP here. If we wanted to go into add-ons, add-ons contain all of the uh, Matamod, source mod, and we run a special plugin for Surf called Stripper from Balopan. This holds all the stuff that we need to strip out of maps that don't work, and uh, we'll touch back on that a little bit later. But if you needed to update, say, your source mod, you would go into your add-ins folder here into your source mod folder and this holds all of the configs, the extensions, and the GAM data for source mod. Uh, earlier today I actually had to update our files and our game data, our extensions, and our bin because the most recent update from Valve uh, messed up a lot of things on the server and source mod stopped working. So we had to update it to a new stable version of source mod. But it's very drag and drop, where if you go on to Allied Modders or another website that has plugins for your server, you can download the, the package that they upload for you. And it's simple drag and drop. You'll open up and you'll see, you know, this is all the configs. They go in the config folder. This is all the extensions. They go in the extension folder. This is all the game data. They go in the game data folder. Simple. What we are looking at today is the maps folder. So inside of your server structure here, you have a maps folder. And this holds all of your maps. Look at all the surf maps. And don't be alarmed that there's DE maps. These are normal. Those are, those are already in there. Those really don't matter. What we want to do is we want to select both of our files that we downloaded here, the map and the nav, and we want to upload this to that folder there. And while that one's uploading, we're going to go up one folder and we're going to go into the Surf Gloom folder and we're going to upload. Interesting. Oh, okay. There's actually two versions of this map. There's a Surf Combat one, which is the V1A, it's an alpha. <clears throat> and there's the NJV, which stands for non-jail version. That is the actual surf map that we want. So we're going to upload that one to the same. He included a bunch of other stuff in here. Screenshots, a readme text, which we don't need. So we're going to go back up to the top. And we're going to wait for those to upload. Which shouldn't be too long, actually. Maybe another minute or so. Now, one thing to notice and to remember, when you're uploading maps, um, not every server is going to be exactly alike in the way you get them into rotation. Normally, what you have to do is let's back out of this. And inside of your config, uh, let's map edit. That's not the right area. Let me just 
take a look around here for the correct CFG we're looking for. Source mods, configs. Looking for map list. All right, so where I went from there is I actually went back to add-ons. Let me make sure it's not in here first, too. There, well, there's map list and map cycle. That's really what we want. So inside the root directory of your server here, because we're on the FTP, if you scroll down past all the folders and stuff, what you had to do in the past was make sure that you edit your map list and your map cycle. And those look like this. Let me see if I can edit this. Yep. So all the maps that we have in our list, or all the maps that we have on our server are in this list here. And this is the map cycle. Yes, this is the map cycle. So in alphabetical order, we have all of our maps here from 81st to corner to fruits on the Mesa, Tattle, and year 3000. What the server does is it reads this file and tells you, okay, these are all the maps that we have. So when you nominate a map, this is where that list comes from. Same thing for the map list. The map list is going to have a list exactly like this. Usually they're broken out into tiers. Tier 1, Tier 2, Tier 3, Tier 4, Tier 5, and Tier 6. <clears throat> it looks like our maps have done uploading. So normally in the past what you had to do is if you wanted to add a new map into the cycle, you had to edit your map cycle and your map list and make sure that you put in the new map that you're going to test. That way it shows up in not only rotation, but nomination as well. So let's go back up to our maps. That's done uploading. Now I say in the past because that is what we had to do previously in the past. However, some servers have it so it's automated. So if we're in our GS panel, we go into our test surf. <clears throat> and we have a little extras button. On Tango, we use a synchronization script that Balan wrote for us. So if we go into extras, this will allow us to choose an item. So this automatically updates our map list and map cycle for us. So we're going to use our Tango Sync first and launch it. And this takes 15, 20 seconds usually. We'll let it run for just a little bit here. We'll refresh it and we'll notice that it's already started to do its thing. So what this is doing is it's searching for any files that have not been moved to the fast download server. It's found that this file right here, Surf Glamour, one of our new maps, is not a fast download, so it's moving it to the fast download server. And it looks like it's good. In the past, what you had to do was you had to FTP to your fast download server and upload the map there too. What it does is it compresses the map into a BZ2 file, which lets players download it a lot faster instead of the enormous map file. So that process is done. It's on the fast download. Let's go back into our server and go into extras. And we're going to use the cycle sync now. What this is going to do is it's going to add our new maps that it finds that are new to the map list and the map cycle. And same process, it's automated, so it's going to be 15, 20 seconds. Looks like it sees our new map. Let's see. Glamour. What was the other one that we uploaded? I cannot remember now. Gloom. So it's Glamour and Gloom. Yep, there's Gloom. Let's refresh this, and map cycle is done. So, easy peasy. We have it completely uploaded now. We can see our map over here. We have Glamour, and we have Gloom. Where's Gloom at? There's Gloom. So we have Glamour and Gloom. Perfect. And we've already synced our server. 
So that is that. Now let's hop into game. Let me alt tab real quick so I can uh, push this over. There we are. And back in game. <clears throat> All right, so in game, let's go to our new map. Map surf gloom. We'll change to our new map, and we should see it download the BZ2 file, which we do. It's on the fast download, so that's good. That was very fast to download. All right, let's take a look at this new map here. Can we get in the door? No. Empty room. This looks like our spawn point. It looks pretty nifty. Alright, so one thing to remember. When you're first testing a new map, you're not going to have any zones on it at all. So if you were to start surfing and say it was a staged map, if we went from, say this is stage 1 to stage 2, we wouldn't be able to get back to stage 1 unless we either restarted the server or restarted the game. So what you want to do is you want to bring your console down and type in sm underscore add spawn. This is going to add a spawn point that we can come back to. So let's take a look at this map. Very dark. If I remember correctly, Game Banana said that this was a linear map. This actually looks really cool. I'm not sure who made this map, but it definitely looks cool. Alright, where are we going? Over? Over? Spiral? Oh, oh, oh! Oh, we made it! Jesus. Alright, well, we fucked that up. Alright, anyways. Let's zone it. Oops. Zones. Alright, let's create our start zone. So, create a zone, normal map zone, start. And I hope... I hope this draws correctly. This doesn't look like it's... Okay, yeah, good. It is square. Alright, we're going to make our start zone about there. Make sure that we don't interfere with anything else. We'll save our zone. Uh, let's edit our zone settings so that we can see all sides. And edit our start zone. We'll stretch it. Make sure our scale is at 10. That looks good. <coughs> Alright, now we have our start zone. I really should have turned off Steam notifications. Let's see if we can finish this map or not. If not, we'll just fly to the end so we can zone the end. And then we can actually finish the map. Ooh. Ah, going too fast. So yeah, this is how we test maps to put on the SERP server. We make sure that they actually work. If they do, then we go about zoning it and then testing it on the test server to make sure that we can complete it and that it's for you know easy SERP, that it's easy enough for people to complete. Pretty much if I can complete it, anyone can complete it. Uh, that was a little bit better. Oh, too much speed. Should have spiraled. Now, something to note is you want to make sure that you play the map long enough that it actually doesn't crash the server. 
So while you're testing, you want to stay on, you know, most of the way through what your um, time limit is. I think our time limit's set to 30 minutes. So testing usually doesn't last more than 15 minutes unless it's a long staged map or or if you suck at surfing. We'll give this one more attempt and then we'll uh, no clip to the end zone so that we can zone it. Uh, one other thing to note that you will know if the map instantly crashes your server once you change to it. And it could be a number of reasons where it was created in source and ported improperly, so there's things that shouldn't be on the map that crash the server. Uh, such as weapons, certain textures. Uh, most people that port maps to CSGO from source take those out and just report the map that way. Other times they don't, and that's when we use what's called a stripper file, where it's Balopan's stripper plugin, <clears throat> and we create config files to basically strip or remove things that shouldn't be in the map that are crashing the server. All right. We apparently can't surf today, so let's do a no clip. So that we can go to the end of the map and zone the end. For the most part, this map does look fairly easy. So we're not going to worry about completing it right now. We just want to zone it and test it, make sure it actually works before we put it on the uh, live tier 1 server. And it's always a good idea to have a test server that you can test these maps on before you actually put them on a live server. You don't want to put an untested map onto a live server and just hope that it works because if it crashes, then you lose all of your population. You have to restart the server. You have to remove the map. You have to resync your fast download and resync your map list and map cycle. It's a pain in the ass. But this looks like a very cool map. Looks like you can take two different paths. I assume these lead to the same place. Yep, they do. So you got a harder path and an easier path. And this looks like we're close to the end. Go down and... That looks like a trap to me up there. Go down and through. And we should be right there. That looks like an ending to me. Nice spiral to finish off the map. Oh, apparently it keeps going. Ah, this looks like an ending. Yes, the end. All right. So that is the end. We're not going to go through that because most likely that's going to take us to the beginning again. But this ending looks a lot like Surf Prelude. What we're going to do is instead of zoning this as the end, we're going to zone this bottom piece here as the end. So let's create a zone, normal map zone, and end. And we're going to start drawing our zone here, right on the edge. I'm going to take it all the way down, and we're going to put it here, right in the water. We'll hit 5 to save our zone, and that's our end. So once they pop through this hole and come down to the bottom, they've ended the map. Let's check to see where the end takes us. Ah, yes. My old friend Solid Surf. And it looks like it... Yep, this looks like a jail. Ah! He didn't remove the, uh, the weapons. Now we have a sweet AK. Alright. That is how we test a surf map. Well, okay. That's how we upload a map 
how we synchronize a map into the map cycle on the map list, and then how we zone and test a map. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, this will be Surf Gloom coming to a server near you. We do have one more map to test, but it's the same process that we just went through here. Let's uh, edit our zones back so that we can only see the lower edges. Perfect. All right, uh, so that pretty much covers GS panel and FTP and zoning and testing. Um, I guess this is good because I record all of my videos in one shot. And if this were to have crashed, then that would have completely ruined the entire video. I don't do any editing. It's all one shot, one video. So, yeah. Uh, if you have any questions, make sure to hit me up. Uh, if not, tell me to fuck off. You know, whatever. Hope you guys enjoy the video, and I hope to bring you at least one more video where I can go through the miscellaneous zones map and uh, things of that nature. If you have any questions then I can answer him in the next video. But uh, that's pretty much it for me. So uh, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys later.